Hi guys, thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you the self-care tips that help me feel more balanced, put together, confident, or just the best version of myself that I feel I can be. So if you'd like to know what those self-care tips are, just keep watching. Before we get started guys, I really want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now this is a friendly space for the more mature woman where I like to share beauty and lifestyle tips and reviews because I really feel that we can still look fab over 50 and have fun doing so as well. If that sounds like you, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below. Please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you are reminded when my videos are uploaded. I upload every week and I would love to see you back. There are a few things that I find that if I do, if I implement, I just feel a little bit better about myself. I think these are things that help me feel good, help me feel that I'm putting my best foot forward and I, I must admit there are times when I can get in a funk. I do suffer from depression. I, I've been diagnosed with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder from quite a traumatic childhood and I was, 50, I was 50, I was, I was 50 before I sought help. I didn't know I needed help and I just got through life, so I thought. And it's not until I started tackling some of those really, really hard issues that Seriously, I didn't know that were there until I really had to peel back the surface. It was hard work. It was two years of quite intense work. And, you know, it was really good for me. And I was on a path of self-discovery. Wasn't easy. It really wasn't easy. It was probably some of the hardest, hardest things I had to deal with with a lot of grief, a lot of loss, a lot of stuff that I pushed to the bottom and didn't want to deal with and didn't realise I didn't want to deal with it. I just thought I was doing fine, but I really wasn't. And from that, I learnt that it's okay to take care of yourself. That in order for you to be the best version of yourself, to be the best, best person there for your loved ones, your family, you have to take care of yourself and care about yourself before you can really nurture other people around you. Unless you look after yourself, you won't have the best version of yourself to share with others. So... I have to say, one of the first things I ever did from all of the self-discovery was start my YouTube channel. And the reason I did that was that when I was talking to my psychologist, she noticed that the one of the few times that I would spark up and I would get enthusiastic and... Um, show it spark should I say because I, I really had got to a stage where I was a little bit dead on the inside so she started to notice that when I sparked up I was talking about makeup skincare and that sort of thing so it started very slowly and I started a, a very basic and I'm still running my blog it's not a fantastic blog but it's where I started and from my blog was my YouTube channel was born. Now I've been doing this for two or three years now. I'm still a very small channel but I do it because I want to reach out 
meet other women who like what I do so that I have like-minded people to share my love of the pretty things in life that bring me joy. So that's how my YouTube channel started and it was one of the first things that I sort of implemented in um, you know finding what made me happy what what helped me tick and to give me something else outside of my mum duties my wife duties and my everyday work duties there was more to Ange than being mum than being the wife and being that reliable person at work every day so to actually have something for me and something that I could enjoy and uh, have fun doing it was a good start. Now with that comes all the other things about beauty and that sort of girly stuff that I really really love. Some of the things I do that will help me feel better about myself may seem really frivolous and some people might shake their head and think, oh for goodness sake, that's so... what would be the word? I'm going to try and put words up all around me that I can think would come to mind. I, there is a word for it, but I'm thinking some people might think this is frivolous or it's uh, shallow. Shallow is a good word. So if I can think of any other words, I'll pop them up around my head. But to me, they might be shallow and uh, silly to some people, but to me, they make me feel better. They make me feel just a little bit more confident. They make me... well, they help me to stand a little bit taller, to just feel better about myself so yes they may be shallow they may be frivolous but they work for me one of those things is i love lashes and i think the biggest thing is because i don't have lashes my lashes are <sighs> I miss the cart. When God was giving out lashes, I, I was at the back of the queue, unfortunately. But with things that you can do today, you can buy false lashes, you can have lash serums to grow your lashes. I resort to lash extensions, and for Glam Looks Like I'm wearing at the moment, we have our falsies. So I like lashes. When I don't wear lashes, I feel like I've got beady eyes, I feel my hooded eyes are more pronounced, I feel tired. It's amazing how if I remove my eyelash extensions and I can go to work, the amount of people who ask if I'm feeling okay. You look tired, Ange. Are you okay? You feeling all right? And the only difference is I don't have my lashes on. And so by having lashes, my eyes look more awake and I just feel better. And to be fair, when I've got my lashes, I really don't need to wear eye makeup as well. If I've got nice full lashes, I'm a happy camper. And another thing that I really enjoy are my long nails. Now I've gone back to having gel tips on my nails, but I also for quite some time recently went through a stage of using the press-on nails. So I, I like having some sort of nail. I feel like I have a more elongated hand, longer, more slender fingers if I've got a longer nail. Um, when I don't have nails, and it could just be how we distort our own vision of things, I feel like I have very manly chunky sausage fingers on my hands and I don't feel very ladylike so I like my nails and it's an easy thing to do and to just make me feel better. Something that I probably could be a lot better on but when I eat well I feel better, I feel less lethargic, I don't feel as bloated, I don't feel I don't feel like crap 
um, you know, I don't feel as sluggish than if I was to, to eat food that I know doesn't work for me and dairy is something that can upset me in the way of I get headaches, uh, caffeine I get headaches, I really struggle with the gluten, I need to cut my bread out more, I try my best but fresh bread is like mother's milk to me, I really can't go past a nice anything fresh bread I just love it but I do I do function better and my body is a lot better I'm not as bloated if I don't have gluten and can cut back on my breads and things like that so eating better definitely helps me feel better it helps me feel more vibrant it's not as easy and it is not as much as a quick fix as putting on lashes or getting your nails done but it is something I need to concentrate on more. I am definitely a person who needs her sleep. I am a little bit naughty in having devices or, or doing work on my computer till late at night and not shutting down earlier enough and turning off the light early enough. I find by the time you, you go to work, you come home and do your chores, you know, you've put tea on, you've thrown the washing on and you've got to hang it out, then I'll do things like needing to edit a video or plan videos for the week and any other sorts of things I do like that. Before I know it, it is a, you know, a little bit too late to be going to bed. I need a minimum of eight hours a night or I am a grumpy bear in the morning. I'm not a morning person and I think that's why I struggle with getting to bed early at night is that I can get so much more done after nine o'clock at night than I can at any other time of the day. I don't know what it is, but I tell you, don't ask me to get up at six o'clock in the morning. Mm -mm. But uh, I definitely need my sleep and I am a much nicer and a much better person and I function a lot better when I can get my 8 hours plus a night. Now, I do have to say I never thought I needed one of these. But a very beautiful person, and you know who you are Angela, um, sent me the most divine gift at Christmas time. And that was a silk pillowcase. Now seriously, I had entertained the idea of getting one in the past, but they're about $95 here in New Zealand. And this gorgeous, gorgeous person sent me, and she couldn't have picked the, a better colour for me. It just goes so beautifully in my bedroom. And I hate having to launder it because I love it so, so much. It is... Um, her recommendation is that she really enjoyed it, it really helped her with her very fine hair. Now I have super super fine hair and uh, really struggle with styling my hair and I don't know what it is but I just love the silk pillowcase and it's not just my hair that's appreciating it, I just sleep better with it. So. I seriously did not know I needed that in my life and now that I do have it in my life it ain't going anywhere. Speaking of my hair, if I'm having a bad hair day, I'm off all day. And I do have to say I'm struggling at the minute, but uh, yes, my hair is very important to me and my day can totally depend on how my hair is going to behave that day and I know life shouldn't revolve around things like that but it really sets the tone for my day so trying to find an easy hairdo that looks groomed and put together is uh, a struggle for me at times but it really helps if I can get there. As I mentioned, I am best to stay away from caffeine. I do get quite awful headaches when I have caffeine so I now am on a I drink red bush tea or rubos tea which is caffeine free and I that is my hot drink and then I try to stick to water 
during the day and occasionally um, during the week I might have kombucha and I drink too much wine on the weekend but you know it is what it is. I like my wine, especially if I've had a full-on week. Something that I have discovered, probably I've been doing this for about 12 months, and it's been a struggle. I am the most stiff, inflexible person I know, and I've taken up yoga. And some of the poses for me are extremely challenging. But I am so blessed to have the most amazing person who takes our yoga classes at the gym that I have joined. And oh my gosh, there are things I can do now that I couldn't do 12 months ago. I am seriously still, uh, I am gobsmacked when I see people that can just fold themselves and stretch themselves into places I can only dream of getting myself into but I am slowly improving and stretching my body and just love yoga for the whole mental mind part of it. It's like Something that our yoga instructor does talk about is that our monkey brain is all over the place and that explains my brain to a T. It's like having a helium balloon that I have to hold on to. My brain pops everywhere. I have a million things running through it at a time and I really appreciate my yoga sessions during the week where I can just focus on breath and um, just center myself again and that really has made a huge huge difference probably more most of all to my stress levels as i said at the beginning of this video a lot of these things that i have touched on have been what some people would call shallow frivolous you know they're not important but they do make a difference to me but first and foremost the most important thing to me in my life are my loved ones my friends, my family, my go-to people who I rely on when I need someone to lean on, um, to know that I am there when they need somebody to lean on. That circle of friends and family is so important to me and something that is just as important as having them around is that everybody is healthy and well and we are all loved so that is the first and foremost of anything to help me feel my best more confident and uh, help me get through my day just to reflect on some past videos that i did that i sort of shared with you that i thought that i was due for a change in my life i am about to change jobs I have found a new job and it is time for a change and I'm feeling really good about it and uh, very positive I am I believe a very dedicated person to my job I give more than a hundred percent I do that because I love what I do I love the kids I, I work in a school and I love the kids and that is what is most important. I am very proud of my work. I am more than happy to do over and above what is expected of me but that's just who I am and 99% of the people around me appreciate that. And I do know that at times I let stress levels get to me and I can become stressed. But one thing that I don't like is one when someone questions my ability. And um, I'm very confident in what I do. And when someone questions um, my ability, 
uh, it's time to move and time to go somewhere where I'm appreciated and I can give my 120% elsewhere and uh, find another niche somewhere else and that time is now and um, I miss the team that I used to work with but slowly everyone has moved on and it's not the same wee team that we've had and just time for me to find another family somewhere else and I am looking forward to that new journey and making new friends and um, yeah getting stuck into another job and being appreciated elsewhere so that is something that is an update on my life and a, a goal that I've been thinking about for a little while and circumstances that have happened in the last few weeks have really confirmed it's time to go and um, I have fallen on my feet on what I think is a fabulous new job it is at another school and uh, I have a really good vibe about this and uh, I just think it's time to try something new and um, yeah make some new friends so that is something I'm looking forward to in the next couple of weeks okay guys so they are things that really you know I'd like I, I my my goal when I was talking about early about eating healthy I do want to lose some weight um, I'm hoping that if you know the changes that I'm making in my life will make that a bit easier and I can be a bit more active and um, you know it's it's a goal and I can chip away at them bit by bit but the other things if I can do most of those things that I have listed I feel I put my best foot forward I feel more confident I feel more me more girly um, just more put together and yeah. just the best version of myself I'd love to hear from you what you like to do for your self-care, for your, you know, your state of mind and uh, giving yourself some, some love, some self-care, some time for yourself. What do you do that makes you feel better and uh, puts you in a happy place? I would love to hear from you down in the comments below it's lovely when we can share things with each other you might do something that I haven't thought of and think wow actually I might give that a go and I'm sure other people would love to hear what you try as well if you enjoyed this video guys I'd truly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I would love to see you back Please let me know in the comments below your self-care tips. I would love to know them. So I hope you all at some stage today have done something for your own self-care. And I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later guys. Bye.